There's no question people who live along the coast are getting hit the hardest by this storm because, yes, they are getting the snow, but they're also getting some flooding and definitely very strong winds. Our team coverage continues now with WBZ's Brandon Truitt, who is in situate. Last time we spoke with him, he said that the winds were starting to die down just a little bit, and that's good news, Brandon. It certainly is, although everything is relative, right? We are still seeing uh, some of the strong wind gusts, but just not as frequently as before, and we will certainly take that good news. You can't hear it behind me. The ocean is roaring, though. We are on Oceanside Drive, and what we are bracing for is the second high tide of the day. Earlier today, we actually had some storm surge, and that caused some of the sand, of course, to come over. I want to show you one of the roads here. Earlier today, we had two different power trucks uh, that were stuck in this same same spot because sand has mixed in the road. I want to show you some of the video um, that shows this Nash grid was stuck here for a good amount of time. And about two hours later, once they were eventually cleared, an Eversource truck got stuck in the same exact spot. We were able to catch up with town leaders here who tell me the two focuses tonight are going to be power and this evening storm surge. Here is what they told me just before nightfall. Right now, we got about 1,200 homes without power in situate proper, which is about 14 percent. We also have about another 150 homes in Hamarack that are without power. Uh, the power companies are telling us they'll have crews in tonight. Hopefully they'll have everybody restored by the end of the day tomorrow, but it's really going to depend upon uh, the weather. Uh, the winds have let up a little bit. We're hoping the worst has gone by. We've had gusts touching 90 miles an hour today, so uh, it's been pretty much a, a crazy showdown here, but the crews are keeping up the roads as best they can. We're cleaning up. Now, right now, it's the, uh, the 9 o'clock tide that's coming in. What that's going to do, how bad that's going to be, we think it's going to be minor to moderate. Um, the winds are kind of shifting around a little bit, so that will help. But, um, you know, then it's going to be a race to get it all cleaned up before it starts to freeze. So here we go. We have someone right here, actually, who is trying to drive through this. This is the exact spot where those two trucks uh, got stuck earlier, and we're seeing that they're spinning out here. Let's see what happens as they're trying to turn on Oceanside Drive. It's really, really dangerous. They're encouraging people not to get out on this at this point. But you heard the town manager there as we go into the evening. The two focuses, power and that storm surge. They're not expecting it to be as bad this morning. The positive news here, no major injuries reported today. About 12% of the town without power. That number has not changed since before noon. So things seem to be settling here if we're looking on the bright side. We're live in situate. Brandon Truett, WBZ News.